Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sports Card ASMR. I'm the Sports Card Doctor. What card are we going to cut up today? Is it one of our already opened legends, like Detroit Lions running back Barry Sanders? The Hall of Famer that gave me the life lesson of act like you've been there before. Major League Baseball Hall of Famer, catcher, turned second baseman, turned center fielder, turned, I think, second baseman again, turned baseball dad, Craig Biggio. Dave Stewart, one of the most intimidating players in all of baseball history. Or Eric Davis, one of the more exciting players in the late 80s, one of my favorites of that era, or any era. Shohei Otani. A member of the bomb squad because you see it's a lot of home runs which are often called bombs and so he's like a member of that squad but the, the, the bomb I think you got it Willie McGee the only knock need superstar in history or will this be the time we finally cut up Steeler legend a fan favorite all around Pittsburgh Mark Malone. Probably not this time. No. Let's go to the packs. And yes, I'm just letting the crinkles do their job. If you like the crinkles, we do have crinkle only videos. I think this is the time. I was a fan of the NHL in the early 90s. I still like hockey, it's a great sport. I just don't follow along like I used to. But I saw this pack at a card shop and it brought me back. We are in hockey season, so let's, let's do it. Let's open up some hockey today. Now we'll see if I, uh, it's a NHL hockey cards, series one bilingual, so 15 player cards or 15 cartes de huiers, uh, so this is not gonna, this is not gonna go well for me. Special, oh, special consumer offer, okay. Let's do it. Let's open this up. back to my hockey loving youth. Let's 
score was on a roll here in the 90s, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, we start, we're starting off with a great card there. Patrick Waugh. The Montreal Habitone State Canadiens. Did I say that right? Probably not. Wayne Gretzky. Call the kids. Pack the suitcases. We're selling this card and going on a vacation. Of course, uh, Gretzky, mullet and all, have been traded to the Kings in the late 80s from the Oilers, and that kind of started uh, this era of hockey kind of surging to the uh, upper echelons of the sports world. It was still a bit of an old school vibe back then, but Gretzky was the key. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited we got that card. I'm excited for you too, Mark Recchi of the Penguins. Darren Turcott. Rick Wamsley. What a name. What a card. Ooh, look at that. We got the Norris Trophy. Ray Bork. It kind of looks like something you hide behind and then win in Fortnite. Pretty good there. Oh, John Cullen. That is, that is a 90s hockey mullet man. Franchise player there. Look at that for the Whalers. I don't even know if they're a team anymore. Jennings Trophy winner Ed Belfour. Speaking of great goalies. Love that there. I wouldn't want to put that on a bookshelf, but hey, at least you have it there. Mark Hunter. Getting a lot of Whalers. I don't know if that's the most appropriate name anymore. I mean, there's worse teams out there to be named, but hmm. John Tonelli, good Italian enforcer, maybe. I don't. Let's see where was where was he born? He was born in um, Ontario, the Italian uh, provin province of Ontario. Uh, Sergio Momesso, the Canucks. A lot of goalies. Daniel Bartholomew, Bar Berthai Bar. Not gonna work here anymore. Mike McPhee, that's I can say that one. Nanny McPhee, Pierre Turgeon, that's a. I'm gonna be. I gotta be honest. That's kind of a sexy name. Pierre Turgeon of the Sabers, and Brad McCrimmon. That is not a sexy name. It's a name of purpose and power. Good job, Brad. Which one of these cards are we gonna cut up today? Tempted just to cut that mullet. <sighs> do we do it? Do we cut up the wing? I can't do that. But I'll tell you what. We do have another legend here. Great card. I, for a while, in the, uh, for a while in my youth, I thought I was going to maybe end up being an NHL goalie. It was about a two week period in the spring of 1994. Um, to an honor of that, Patrick Waugh, you're going to get cut up. Let me get my things. Doctor, and I am the sports card doctor. Any good doctor needs to put on some rubber gloves for my safety, the patient's safety. But today, because we're dealing with hockey cards, it's to keep warm. <laughs> you get it, because they play hockey on the on the ice. I, and you probably, I'm in Burbank. Okay. clean and ready. What's that? You you want personal attention? Okay. Here I'll there's that that's never been one of my triggers, so I don't really okay. I don't 
maybe maybe without that noise. I kind of like the ging 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 ging. All right, anyways, back to the card. Now, of course, it's not Patrick Roy. It's Patrick Waugh. And learning that as, as, a, as a kid made me feel real smart. All right. surface that we're working on. Some of you might question my ways. Don't question the sports car doctor. All right, Patrick, a couple questions before we begin. Patrick, are you aware that one of the greatest ASMR videos of all time Involves Pat LaFontaine, a NHL player. Yeah. Do I have? Do I? Do you smell my sandwich breath? Ah, so sorry about that. I'll work on that. Uh, Patrick, now you're on your back there. Uh, any pain? Okay. I'm just. I'm gonna put it together, kind of like a detective would put together a case. You know, uh, maybe you're ankle, nose, your knee, or just kind of tracing where the pain goes. That's what I do here. I'm like a chiropractic detective, you know? Chiropractic detective. <laughs> it's a lot of T's. Chiropractic detective. Alright, Patrick. We don't want to delay anymore. Let's get to the main event. muted reds and purples. Still very 90s card design, but I like it. I like the puck up top. Look up the name here. Try to make it all design worthy here, you know. say I failed arts and crafts. stick. No, I did want to be a goalie. I was a catcher in baseball. It seemed like a logical leap. The only thing I lacked was the skills to do it. I find that holds me back in life in most spots. No skills. No success. That's why I found sports card medicine. First ever hockey card. Hmm.
well worth the one dollar American I spent. I wonder what it would have been in Canada. We'll never know. Patrick Waugh, you've been cut up.